Hello, everybody. This is Jeff, the demo guy over here at SpyFu. Today, we want to talk about how you use SpyFu when you are approaching local SEO. So let's pretend today that you are a company that operates on a local level. This could be anyone from a lawyer that covers an entire state, a marina that is trying to bring people down to use their boats, take a fishing charter, uh, uh, many different types of contractors, plumbers, HVAC companies, credit unions, um, caterers, all sorts of different people. Now, when you're using SpyFu from a local SEO standpoint, one of the things that you might realize pretty quickly is that local SEO is not actually that different of a process than national SEO, at least not from a SpyFu usage standpoint. There's a couple of ways that you can start here. I'm going to pretend that I'm helping out a local HVAC company for right now, you know, an air conditioning and heating company. So I could start either with a very large successful competitor, or I can start with a keyword term that I am interested in. So if I'm an HVAC company, you know, I want to install air conditioning. I want to help people out with that type of stuff. So I'm going to start with a really basic term, air conditioning. So if I type in that keyword term, the keyword overview is going to give me some basic stats here. Now, I don't really want to look up keyword stats one at a time. That's not how I want to spend my life. What the list also gives me are similar keywords, which are pretty direct and straightforward. It's going to contain essentially air conditioning in some way, shape, or form. Questions, which is very similar to similar keywords, except that it's making sure that this phrase is used in the form of some sort of question. But our best friend for SEO topics overall outside of questions is probably also ranks for, which is a way of saying, hey, any company that shows up on the phrase air conditioning also shows up on these 91 million other terms. And they don't actually need to have the phrase air conditioning in it. So we see AC, HVAC near me, Obviously, highly related phrases, maybe even superior phrases, but they are not necessarily uh, uh, going to contain the exact phrase air conditioning. So I need to start my process by finding terms that are important to me that I want to rank on. So I'm going to head over here under related keywords. Related keywords will default to that similar keywords option, but I'm just going to go ahead and already switch down to that also buy, uh, also ranks for. What I want are lots of options, and also ranks for gives me as many as SpyFu is capable of providing. It doesn't rely on any one particular competitor. It just takes everybody that shows up on this term, stacks all their information together. Now, this list is going to start way too big to begin with. So I can enter in some basic filters here. Probably going to enter in like a basic filter of 100 searches a month to start with. Now, there's a little bit of logic behind this. SpyFu cannot provide data local to your market. For instance, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I can't tell you how many people are searching the phrase air conditioning within Phoenix, Arizona. However, when I look at this keyword list, I know that more people are probably searching HVAC near me, no matter where I am, as opposed to HVAC repair near me, because local search volume tends to be proportionate with national search volume. And you might not be able to get the specific numbers of how many searches are happening in the area, but you will be able to figure out what gets more or less searches. So we've got a nice big list here, but what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm gonna get a, a little bit away from these direct action keywords. A lot of people wanna be ranked on the term HVAC near me. A lot of people wanna be ranked on the term air conditioning installation, but becoming ranked on those terms is not just a matter of mentioning that phrase as much as possible on a website. You oftentimes are going to have to create value to the people trying to find these topics. And on the SEO side, the people you're trying to create value for might not be in that buying decision position yet. So let's assume that I am a trying to find all these people that are not quite in the customer basket yet, 
but are definitely leaning that way. Their air conditioning is having some problems. They're shopping around, right? So if I'm trying to attract those people, what they what might they be worried about? Well, what about costs? So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to type in air conditioning as one term. So all the keywords I'm looking at on this list have to include the phrase air conditioning. I'm also going to type in cost. Now, the system can uh, spit out a list of keywords that says air conditioning or has the keyword cost in it. But I like to switch the logic so it has air conditioning and cost in it. And this is going to give me a list of keyword terms that include both aspects. You know what? To be perfectly honest here, I don't like some of these volumes I'm looking at. You know, 440 searches is nothing, but spread throughout the United States, that might be pretty thin. So maybe I clear that out and type in HVAC. And you could do this all sorts of different ways. You know, furnace, you know, vents, insulation, you know, what have you. And that's just within the realm of air conditioning. So here we see HVAC costs, HVAC replacement costs. I get some options here. I, in fact, see keyword terms here that could probably all fit in a single piece of content. Content doesn't necessarily just target one word at a time after all. You're probably trying to rank on any number of different phrases here. HVAC costs, HVAC replacement costs, HVAC installation costs. These are some good healthy search volumes that I want to slice up. So let's just pick one. Like uh, the one that has the most volume here is HVAC system cost. Volume is probably going to be by far the most important metric you're going to use to judge keywords from an SEO standpoint. However, there are a couple of other metrics available. Keyword difficulty is a measure of how hard it is to become ranked on a, on a particular term. The higher the keyword difficulty value is, the closer to 100 that is, the harder it's going to be to move up in the ranks in that topic, or essentially the more static the results are. Another metric that is sometimes helpful is the not clicked percentage. The not clicked percentage talks about out of all the people that search this volume, what percentage, is, what percentage of users essentially is going to leave the search funnel without clicking on something useful to us as business owners? Well, maybe they click on a maps result or an image result. Maybe they click on a Google shopping result, but whatever they're doing, they're not interacting with an ad. They're not interacting with one of the regular organic results. Now, that's a secondary metric that I can consider keyword difficulty as well, but most of the time volume is going to be king. A lot of the higher volume terms are usually going to have higher difficulties, but let's jump into one of these things. Let's just pick one. HVAC replacement cost. If that's a keyword term that's interesting to me, what I can do is I can open up that keyword in a new tab or I can middle click it. And that's going to take me back to the overview. Now, I don't really want to jump into related keywords again. What I really want to do is figure out who's ranked on this and why. Now, I can figure that out in a couple of different ways. If you're trying to tack quite literally your own local market, you can do a search just right in Google. Who do we see? If I do this, HVAC replacement cost, I see some ads, obviously. Um, I see Bob Vila, Modernize, Five Estimates, Forbes, This Old House, Home Advisor. What does SpyFu see? Well, if I go under the SERP analysis tab, Bob Vila, Modernize, This Old House, Forbes, Home Advisor. Now, you might notice some. These ads are geo-targeted to me to a certain extent. Um, Semperfy uh, Heating and Cooling, at least, is definitely a local company I'm aware of. Google is giving me local results technically, but you might notice that the content here is not especially localized. Bob Vila, Modernize, Five Estimates. These, whether you like it or not, are your competitors on a local level. Um, or, or companies that are equivalent to them. If you're a local credit union, your competitors are anyone from Wells Fargo to Citibank to websites like Investopedia. If you're a chiropractor, you're going to be probably constantly fighting with the joint, but you might even look at someone like Healthline or WebMD or the Mayo Clinic for content ideas. 
And that's what we really want. We want to know what content works because then we can modify that content and make it more appropriate for the things that we're trying to cover. So if we see that Bob Vila produces good content, this old house over here, Home Advisor, I can open up these pieces of content and figure out, well, what goes into this? How long is it? What questions are answered? What media is included? How is the page laid out? And all of those factors are important aspects of your SEO content. And you don't need to learn those answers from local competitors. Rather than writing an article about how much does HVAC insulation cost, I could talk about how much does HVAC insulation cost in Arizona in the summer as opposed to the winter, because I guarantee you those are different prices. You could do all sorts of different things like that, um, depending on your industry. But right now, all I've done is just find some good businesses and some good examples of content. You don't technically need spy food to get to this step. What's really going to become helpful is when we find someone that produces good quality content, I can then start using the domain intelligence aspects of spy food here. So let's pop over to the SEO research side of things. We'll drop in bobvila.com. Now, I'm just an HVAC company. Bob Vila is, you know, a whole media empire in some ways. This guy ranks on 7 million different terms. And absolutely, I can go into his keywords and start sorting through them. But, you know, I just looked at keyword research. I kind of already know what keywords I want. What I want to do is I want to figure out what's all the content that Bob Beal has produced that's relevant to the things that I want to discuss. And to figure that out, I'm going to head over here to top pages. Top pages is going to sort through all the pages of a competitor's website. It's going to tell us which ones are estimated to get the most clicks and which ones are showing up on the most keyword terms. I can also add a little filter to this top pages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right here. We'll type in HVAC. Here we go. All of their pages that rank on keywords that have the phrase HVAC in them are now gonna be listed out here. We got the estimated clicks. We got the number of keywords that they show up on. You don't want to trust click estimates too much. They're certainly useful, but it's hard to estimate clicks and trying to break it down by individual pages. You know, it doesn't make estimating any easier. But the number that never lies to you is the number of keyword terms that, that particular piece of content shows up for. They got a page of their website, 847 keyword terms, oftentimes in the top 10 positions on high volume keyword phrases. Well, that's gonna be a piece of content worth examining. How long is it? What questions are answered? What media is included? And you can grab all of the best content ideas right out of a large successful website for nearly no effort. And then you simply move on to the next one. Uh, who are we gonna go? You know, let's try Home Guide. Drop them in. We didn't even leave the top pages tab. We'll go over here and type in furnace. Boom, furnace replacement costs, furnace repair companies, outdoor wood furnace prices. You know, some of it's relevant, some of it's not, but it's easy enough to sort that stuff around to grab the things that are most relevant to you. And like I said earlier, if I need to make this stuff relevant to my specific area, that's when your own local knowledge is gonna come into play. You know, if, if there's, cheaper times to get things done. That's a certain thing that customers are going to be looking for where you can provide value with your own inherent knowledge. So long story short, when you're working on a local level, the best tip I can give you is just go after what's important nationally, and you're probably going to benefit just fine on a local level. You're probably not going to beat Home Guide. You're probably not going to beat Bob Vila. You're probably going to not beat the biggest guy in your area. But if you use their best practices, you're probably gonna beat anybody that's not using those best practices. And that's gonna be the important thing where you win over your local competitors. Thank you very much for the time today. Like and subscribe to videos from SpaFu. Like and subscribe. 
Spy Fu is on YouTube. YouTube.